Hi guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial video. Today we're doing string 2 exercise prefix again in Java. So let's read the question. Given a string, consider the prefix string made of the first n characters of the string. Does that prefix string appear somewhere else in the string? Assume that the string is not empty and that n is in the range 1 to string.length. Okay, so for this question we have two things that we need to do. Um, we first have to get the first n characters in the string, and except for the first n characters, check if the first n characters are found again in the string. Okay, so for the first um, step, I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to name it prefix, and using the string.substring method, I'm going to take all the indexes up until n minus 1. Okay, so for the second step, I'm going to be using a for loop. And before I initialize i, let's think. So I wrote after, for the second step, that we're doing, we're checking everything except for the first n characters. And if we think about it, n minus 1 is the last index of prefix, meaning the last index of the first n characters of the string. So I'm going to have to make i equal to n. And we're checking until i is less than string dot length. Remember to increment by one. Okay. So we're gonna see if prefix dot equals, and remember you can't use the equal equal sign because we're comparing two strings. Okay, so we're comparing same string dot substring i comma n n plus i. So what we're doing here is we're checking if the first group of first n characters is going to be happening again within the string. Okay, and if that is true, then we can return true. And then remember to return false if not. However, there's a problem right now because we have an array out of bounds error. So I'll prove it to you using this third example. Okay, so let's write down the important values. We know string dot length equals seven um, n equals three. Okay. So let's see, let's say i is equal to 5 and we go down here and the computer checks if prefix dot equals string dot substring 5 comma n plus 5 and n is 3 so we'll be taking a substring from 5 comma 8 and remember the string dot length is only up until index 7 which means we'll get an array out of bounds error. So how do we prevent this? We need to check if n plus i is less than or equal to string dot length always before we go on with our second if statements. 